Jorge Luis Borges. Jorge Luis Borges. Jorge Luis. Take a look at this. Looks like the English alphabet, all 26 letters there. Now, one would say uh, you're looking at the English alphabet. Another might say you're looking at every book that's ever been written in the English language and every book that ever will be written in the English language. Pretty fucked up, right? That's the kind of thinking of the author we're talking about today. Today's book is Collected Fictions by Jorge Luis Borjas. Borjas? Jorge Luis Borges. I, in my mind, say George Borges. I know that's wrong, but it just kind of rolls off the tongue. It's more chewy and fun to say, George Borges. Borges. This is somebody who I keep coming back to over and over and over. This book, I think I have probably reread pieces of every single week for the last five or six years. His work could be described as like magical realism, a little fantastical, a little philosophical. A lot of his work deals with time, labyrinths, identity, mirrors, uh, gods, but not just like God, like a big white guy with a huge beard, but seeing God in the pattern of a, a tiger's fur, seeing God in the way a shaft of sunlight comes through the cell window and makes its way across, uh, you know, a, a stone wall. Very beautiful and interesting and wild ideas. A lot of his short stories almost come off as fables. There's a, one of my favorite stories, The Two Kings and the Two Labyrinths. One king goes to visit another king's land. And that king takes him and puts him in a labyrinth to humiliate him and says, I've built this giant labyrinth, now find your way out. The king takes him out and he goes back to his home. He brings his army back, invades that king's land, takes it over, and then takes the first king and takes him out to the middle of the desert in his land. And he says, here's my labyrinth, find your way out of this, and drops him in the middle of the desert. I love that story because it kind of has this way of thinking that Borjas does so well, which is, what is a labyrinth? If a labyrinth is a place you can't really find your way out of, does it need to have walls? The answer is clearly no. Lipa? Borjas has an amazing grasp of, of prose, and his, his stories uh, are philosophical and also poetic. Things like a Christopher Nolan movie, like Interstellar, and the way that he plays with time. You could tie that directly back to stories like The Garden of Forking Paths. Come on, Tars. He's so ahead of his time. Told you guys about this story before, but there's a great story called The Witness. As a story, The Witness is probably this long. It's maybe three paragraphs. It's the story about a Saxton man who's dying. And as this man dies, Borjas talks about the things that this man has seen in his life. And he says that this man is the last man to have ever seen Jesus Christ with his own eyes in person. The last person on earth to ever seen Jesus. When this Saxon man dies, that will be lost forever from the world. And Boras says, while that is a, a treasure that is lost, each one of us inside of us has equally stunning experiences. When each one of us dies, so goes an entire library of experience and memories and thoughts and feelings burned to the ground. You could draw a straight line from the Borjas is the Witness, that story, to the end of Blade Runner and Roy Batty, that replicant who's dying in front of Harrison Ford in the rain and says, I've seen things you wouldn't believe and that whole speech. You know, I've seen attack ships on fire off the arm of Orion. All these things, you know, and they're all gone like tears in the rain. That monologue is exactly the witness from 30 years before. He also was famous for writing reviews of books that didn't exist and translations of works of famous authors that he just totally made up. So this guy's influence cannot be overstated. And anytime 
I need an, a, a little escape anytime. I need to feel like the world is bigger and larger and, and more mysterious and mystical than I see in my everyday, uh, the drudgery of my everyday life. Uh, anytime I need any inspiration for any kind of writing or any kind of creative work and I'm having trouble coming up with it, I go to this well and it never disappoints. So the book is Collected Fictions by Jorge Luis Borjas. Uh, this is one of my very, very favorite books. Uh, and if you read it, it'll be one of yours too. So please go pick it up. It's absolutely fantastic. You will not be disappointed and get ready for a fucking mind trip that'll blast your brain pan out of your mind skull. Borges.